Alright boys, so we are on BAM's 4-man playing solo. Um, we've loaded into Lost Island. It is about 10 minutes into life. Um, we're gonna try and get a Maywing here. And then go and look for a base spot. I might check out a cave here on Lost Island. But I think I might end up going over to Ab because it's probably gonna be taken by the time I get there. Alright, so I decided that I'm going to tame up this PT because running around at a low level is kind of annoying. So it would be a lot easier to get around once I tame up this PT. Alright, so it was really easy for me to get this Maywing saddle done because the guy that I killed earlier had like 20 something metal already smelted. So I really only had to smell a couple extra metal to make this saddle, which uh, helped me progress a lot quicker than I expected. Alright, so I ended up checking both the base spots on Lost Island. And they already spammed off and everything, so I decided to just go and farm some resources while I was over here, and then I was going to head over to Ab.
Okay, so the spot on Ab that I was gonna go and take needed a Sinnoh to get into until I got like tech boots and a tech jetpack. And actually I figured out later that you could just use a Bloodstalker to get in, but on BAMs, Bloodstalkers are banned for the first day, so that didn't help anyway. So I decided to tame one up and get a breeding pair so uh, I wouldn't run out of them because they're very important for the spot I wanted to live in. I decided to go and run the uh, Labyrinth Cave here on Lost Island because I might as well have tried to get some good BPs early game before people ran all the caves. Alright, so uh, Lost Island's pretty bad for Silica Pearls, in my opinion. I would have rather gone to Crystal Isles, but all the maps are capped at this point. It was still very early into the wipe, so I didn't want to risk not being able to get back onto Lost Island. So I just decided to go into the water at a spot that I knew had some pearls, and it looked like it was already farmed anyway, but I tried to get as many as I could. I then decided to come over here in the desert. Uh, there's a pretty nice metal spawn and it's at, on the edge of the map, so it's a good spot to have a starter. I farmed up some metal and put up some forges and then I went on to keep farming more resources. Alright, so this is what the starter looks like right now. Um, there's about 20 forges, I think. Uh, having that many forges is pretty much a sweet spot, I feel like, because the metal smelts really fast. They don't take up too much space, and it's pretty affordable, especially early game. But um, this allowed me to get a lot of metal very quickly. Alright, so I came over to Extinction, uh, picked up some notes, and got a shotgun, and decided that it was time to get level 100. Having heavies would pretty much allow me to progress without being touched, especially early game. And, you know, everyone needs heavies because that's the main line of defense. After taming those Sinnohs, I decided to run the cave again because the drops probably should have been respawned by now.
All right, so I picked up my starter base because I wasn't recording, but I got jumped by two guys. I got in a fairy and I got in an RG. I got out with everything. I came over to Ab, and this is the uh, rat hole I'm planning to build in. It's a little bit difficult to build because you have to build on a cliff plat and then pillar down to be able to place foundations. But if you build this place right, it's very strong. If you're wondering why it took me so many tries to get those pillars right, it's because I wanted to make sure that the foundations were at the right angle towards the entrance of the rat hole, so that later when I actually built the base, the turrets would have the right angle on the entrance, and it wouldn't be like half the de half the death walls like too close to the entrance. It could get rocketed. I needed to go get some stone so I can make more bullets for that turret because 20 bullets isn't going to cut it. Um, I decided to tame a dodic because if you hit the metal nodes on ab with a dodic you get a ton of stone. Um, I've been using this trick for a while and it's really helpful to get stone fast. Okay, so I made a mining drill uh, and went over to the surface to farm some metal in peace. I think BAM had a setting on so that the surface would be like almost always nighttime or like 10% day, 90% uh, night. Because throughout like the whole entire wipe, it was always uh, nighttime, which made it really easy to farm BPs and of course farm metal because, you know, there's a ton of metal nodes up here and you're not going to get bothered really by anyone because normally people go and farm down in the blue zone.
Okay, so I came over to Genesis Gen 1 because I found that an easy way to get electronics is to tame a rhino and then go over to the lunar biome, kill things, and then harvest them with a chainsaw. It's a really easy way to get electronics early game because then you don't have to waste metal that you need for the actual turrets. Um, I normally only, I only really do this in the beginning because by like mid game to end game, you have enough metal to just like spam craft electronics. Um, yeah, so really wasn't expecting to get jumped by a reaper only a few hours into wipe. That guy uh, definitely was way more progressed than I was, probably in a full trap. I was able to get the electronics out though and start making more heavies. Alright, so this is going to wrap it up for this episode. I do have to actually get offline for two days after this. Spoiler alert, I do survive those two days somehow with these four heavies and like no ammo. Um, I do end up doing some raids later and I do survive in this rat hole for a very long time. So expect a few more episodes in this series. Thank you for watching.